spoke to former President Jimmy Carter about what this week is like for a candidate. And what is he going through at this moment as he gets ready for his big moment? Well, I, I'm sure he already has his speech prepared, and uh, I had mine prepared well in advance. But uh, when, when you go to the convention and you know that you're not going to be on for the last night, uh, the best thing to do is just find something to stay occupied. Joining You're Senator Obama for that historic speech at Denver's Invesco Field in front of some 75,000 people is Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson. Her performance was a personal request of the Obama inner circle. I've never sang for an audience that huge, so that's going to be different. It's such an honor. I'm always happy to be a part of such great change. Jennifer's confidence fits her new role as the celebrity behind the Dove campaign for real beauty and the Dove Self-Esteem Fund, a private fund committed to building self-esteem in girls and women. And if you don't believe in yourself, how do you expect others to believe? This week, stars including Oscar winner Charlize Theron and her love, Stuart Townsend, screened their film Battle in Seattle in theater September 19th. Charlize stars, Stuart directs, and the Irish-born Townsend is getting his education in American politics. It's a lot going on here. And it's, you know, it's interesting to be in an arena that's very political. You know, it's not usually the arena I'm in, so it's, it's fascinating to see the machinations of what's going on here. Ben Affleck enlisted his celebrity friends, including SNL's Seth Meyers, for a celebrity poker tournament benefiting disabled vets. And Susan Sarandon and Anne Hathaway joined Annette Benning for an event sponsored by the Creative Coalition. You have heard all the reports, but do you know the truth? Here is what's real and what is real. Are there more babies in the future for Brad Pitt? That may be real, but for now, let's say it's a rumor. I'll have two more by next year. Six weeks after the birth of his twins, Brad's able to joke, saying he wants more. Arriving on a boat and spending some time with his fans, Pitt and pal George Clooney were at the Venice Film Festival, promoting their new Coen Brothers film, Burn After Reading, out September 12th. We're the cheapest they could find. Was Mackenzie Phillips arrested today for suspicion of drug possession? That is real. The former One Day at a Time star was taken into custody at LAX after screeners found on her a small amount of what appeared to be heroin and cocaine. Mackenzie has a history of drug abuse problems. As of ET's deadline, the 48-year-old was still in custody at the airport. Could you win a vacation with the Jonas Brothers? That is real. I'm um, sure it'll be a party. It'll be a lot of fun. We can't wait to do that. The Joe Bros broke the news to E.T. about the sweepstakes that kicks off September 1st. Anyone who buys a Samsung Glide or Verizon wireless juke phone is entered to win the week-long vacay that includes a private Jonas Brothers concert. From the looks of it, the teen dreams need a break as well. Hey, I'm Nick. <laughs> hey, I'm Nick. I'm Kevin. And I'm Joan. We're the Jonas Brothers. Don't miss out as Verizon Wireless sends 40 lucky fans on vacation with us to the Atlantis Paradise Island this December. You can make sure to check out for your options to win at etonline.com. Does Courtney Cox, our cat, still have a bikini bod? That is real, and these pictures from her Hawaiian vacation with Isla Fisher and Us Weekly on Stan's Friday prove it. Will someone soon die on the bold and the beautiful? Don't, don't. That looks possible, but we'll call it a rumor for now. E.T. was on the set to see Bam Bam, a 600-pound grizzly, hard at work and headed straight for Jennifer Grice. I had to just, like, look at a point and be like, oh, my God! Will she survive? Find out Friday on CBS. Is Paris a player? If we're talking games, that one's real. Check out this challenge for her new MTV show, Paris Hilton's My New BFF, debuting September 30th. How many guys have you slept with? Tonight? I don't know. Bad answer. At the Dreamcatchers fashion show, launching Paris's new headband hair extension, The Bandit, the heiress told us what she wants at a BFF. Someone I can trust. Someone who's not going to, like, sell stories about me to the press. Right now, Shannon Doherty is back on 90210, and only we have her reunion with Jenny Garth 18 years after the two became TV's original frenemies. We're behind the scenes of their Entertainment Weekly cover shoot to find out if it's friendship or friction. Side by side, sharing a laugh and showing off some leg. Forget the cat fights, Shannon and Jenny are together again, and E.T. has the exclusive from the pages of Entertainment Weekly. The first thing these two did after 10 years of not talking to each other. Once they got on set, they were giggling, and they were laughing, and they were making jokes and ad-libbing together. And oh, what a comeback. Get a load of Shannon. Fishnet stockings, sky-high slit revealing her thigh. Oh, and one look at Jenny will make anyone hot for this naughty teacher. Inside Entertainment Weekly on Stan's Friday, 90210's former rivals open up about their past. 
They said, no, we didn't get to, into a fist fight. And then Jenny said, scratching? I won't deny that. The only thing that she remembers is that the guys kind of had to pull them apart and, and break them up. Like Shannon's signed on to do four episodes of the CW show, premiering September 2nd. Jenny's commitment is open-ended. So will there be any more love triangles? And there was a rumor going around that, that Brenda and Kelly were going to fight over Ryan, who's the kind of hottie teacher, the sort of bad boy English teacher. And Shannon said that she flat out said, I will not do that. And our Shannon Doherty exclusives keep coming. Entertainment Tonight was the only show allowed on the 90210 sets while Shannon was working, and we will have that for you in the days to come. Later in the show, our on-set sit-down with Jenny Garth. Now, movie mogul Tyler Perry and his latest movie, The Family That Prays. What you can expect is the unexpected. Let me tell you, my family has been known to pray on the week. This is a different kind of movie for me. I'm taking a couple of risks in this one. I'm pressing the button a little bit. Tyler has good reason to be proud. A stellar cast headed by matriarchs Kathy Bates and Alfre Woodard. Their families intertwined with emotion.